Welcome back everyone to another set of uh, Barbarian videos here. As always, this is Kills. I hope you guys actually enjoy all the live streams and also the previous few videos, which is Barbarian AAB and HC as pure strength as FD, guys. Nevertheless, first of all, I want to thank you for 434 subscribers there. Thank you so much for all the support and likes and comments. And do know the live stream is getting getting better for me. I mean, for me, all right, all right. Every day I've been doing live stream for the past few for the past one week because I know that I'm very busy with work. But for the past one week, I I'm free for the moment at the moment so i would i would like to actually do do you guys on your live stream like four to five hours live stream there to share with you guys the experience and we we'll talk about the end and then other stuff so i uh, thanks for all those people like gears and uh who else actually there's a lot of people i can't really remember but uh we, they they actually glad to talk with them uh throughout the entire live stream now let's get started here of course i actually just clear the the, the weekly nest the uh, abn and meticore with my uh, my sister my sister here lacia i think some of you guys may, may know okay and then also another friend of mine which is pao here not the really good pao but the other pao from aura slayer all right so they are here with me today but they are they actually they know they're actually doing recording but nevertheless today we are going to get into skill builds barbarian skill builds which i've really promised since last week now I will, I try my best to get the DMP to get the uh, Oblivion book or uh, contract, but I can't get it. So uh, in the end, I have to get the uh, skill trees, which is probably to reset the basic one first. Now let's get started on the build first. Now I reset all the basic skill there, all right, and additional skill as well because we really was actually already I empty it, so that's why I only get one. I can't really get the Oblivion book of uh, contract because I only can farm uh, 16k, 16k DMP. So the uh, reset skill is only like 15, 15.3k. I could, I do remember. But anyway, let's get started. So let's make, make ourselves a build, build our barbarian here. So basically, I will put all the basic one first, as you can see here. I'll show you guys. All these are very, very, uh, oh, hold on, dash kick, no, no, don't need dash kick. Dash, alright, and then a sweeping kick, rising slash you put level 6 because you want to get the additional attack, alright, you can catch you cast the soccer kicks for the, re the cool, cool down, reduce of cooldown of circle swing instance. And uh, circle break, I play level 6, okay. Then area evasion. Level 1, max on the HP, recovery level 1, and max on the mind conquer. Now relief, I would say, this is pure PvE first guys, pure PvE, I forgot to mention. So today we're gonna, probably going to do 3 builds, which is one is pure uh, PvE first, then followed by maybe a PvP, okay PvP, and also a hybrid. Now builds are very really, really much depending on each individual, so uh, I'll just give you a brief guide on that. So, my build, okay, my build for warrior 3 for pv pure pve is basically this all right so what you can do is actually you put rising slash level 6 that i say circle break level level 6 for actually the ex version and uh, physical mastery hp for max mind conquer max relief level 4 should be enough all right should, should be enough for that but probably i will go level 6 because i want just want to show you guys actually how we're going to build this on pure pve first Okay, now this is a very basic one, so you can actually spend about 47 already SP on Warrior Tree. Then let's get into the mercenaries. Now, mercenaries here, usually I think a lot of people actually do notice this. What we're gonna do is, oh, these are not people here, but, but let's ignore that. We have actually have one storm, get okay, level one storm, because I have two because I have two of the uh, weapons. I plus one on that, okay. Then we actually put one on this, and then also the dash blow. Now, Dash Blow was basically the very basic one, actually also meant to actually can cast the uh, Soccer Kick as well. Okay, after you cast the Dash Blow. So let's actually apply first. Now, we always, I always actually apply the very basic one. Okay, now let's get into the, uh, the, the, the buff side first, on the right side here of the Mercenary. So Toughness, we actually play it, okay. Because of the uh, HP, when you, when you get hit, you see here when your HP, when your HP is actually sixty percent, uh, attack increased by twenty percent. So this is my learn as well. Touting how nevertheless is actually we is a must to learn. 
Okay, but it's only level 1. Iron Skin also level 1. Soccer Kick combo is also one of the things that we actually need to learn, as you can see in the video here. That is a Soccer Kick that we need to learn. So that's why uh, Rising Slash EX version plus the um, Dash Blow, okay. All these are uh, very much affected. So let's apply another time. So I will I have to be very, very careful, alright? I don't have any uh, the contract of the contract book for one whole day. So I will have to be very, very careful. Now, Battle How is only level 1, okay. And then the uh, how how now how how a lot of people is questioning that whether is it to get level one or level five. Now if you look at this how how as mentioned in my guide the second guide there, it's only doing increase your maximum HP by hundred and sixteen percentage and also doing some minimum damage. Let's put level one first. Right? Just to be sure. Now if you put it level four, the only difference is that the damage increased to nearly one thousand nine 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 hundred and seventy five percentage and also the HP is actually. 1, 6, 1, 16. So, judging from it, there's no cooldown, there's no uh, increased HP, increased duration, there's nothing else. It's just need to increase the damage. So, I would suggest that put level 1. So, I will probably go for level 1, alright? Level 1 is more than enough. So, I can actually save up 3 SP for something else. Devilizing how is actually to remove buff. So, uh, for PvE, alright, so far, there's not no, there's no required for this, alright, there's nothing required for this devilizing how. But, in order to be safe in future or do not want to reset these skill builds, alright, okay, you can actually play one level one, okay, just play one level one. That will be good enough actually. I will actually play one level one actually, basically. But, uh, that's actually up to you guys. The next question will be Highlander. Now, Highlander is taking very much a lot of uh, skill points. You can see here, under the information, there's SP10. That means it's really required 10 SP, guys. 10 SP is a, is a lot. Now, a lot of people are saying that the Highlander is pretty much different in T5 versus the T4, okay? Okay. So, the, as you can see, the duration is 118 seconds. I do believe that when you actually HP decreases down to 1, just 1, okay? Just 1. When he reaches to 1, the Highlander will actually eventually, eventually turns into from 180 seconds, alright, it will actually, of course, it will reduce uh, from time to time. But if you hit 1, your HP is 1, and then you actually, your, your Highlander is on, regardless whatever is your duration of your Highlander, let's say Highlander is actually remain 100 seconds, if you hit 1 HP, the Highlander will go back down to 15 seconds instantly. That is because of the effects of the new Highlander. Now before, before even you hit HP equals to 1, your Highlander duration will not change to 15 seconds. That means the Highlander will go 1 second at a time until the last one. So your Highlander CD plus your duration is actually equivalent the same. As you can see here, cooldown of the Highlander is 180 seconds plus the duration is 180 seconds. So that is actually how it works so far what I, what, what I know. So you guys actually have to take note of that. But whether you want the guys want to put for PvE, that is your choice. For me, I will be glad to go for PvE because as you can see, RDN is not as easy for Barbarian. It's not as easy as it seems. We have low ma magical defense, so having the what, 15 seconds, alright, 15 seconds to survive and also wait for heals or even heal yourself to run away, that is very essential. So I will go for level. I will go for Highlander. Okay. Or oh, let's go this one. Okay, now, we actually have all the basic uh, how and also the passive skill here for you guys to see. So how you guys I can understand why I'm actually building this. Now, let's move on to the skill damage first. Demolish, we put everything about level 1, okay? Ba very basic, all the very basic ones first and level 1. Okay, level 1. Now, between Cyclone X and Gigantic Bomb, people, some people will prefer Cyclone X. As you can see, the damage here is actually 6,929 for level 2. For level 1, it's 5,749. Okay? And then for Gigantic Bomb, the damage is 4,884. 4, and the level 1 is 4,057. Now, if you can see the difference here, the damage between Gigantic Bomb and Cyclone Ax is actually quite significant. But, the, the usage of each skills are very much dependent in a certain scenario. Sometimes it's best not to use Cyclone X because if you cause, if you actually actually will kill yourself, alright, you will kill yourself. Okay, although that it actually have iron frame on certain boss, but 
is bet but even with high deep high that de high damage but it is best that not to use cyclone x that very much often so for me what i do is i actually i take both i take level uh, two of Cyclone X and level two of Jacketing Bond. So that is for me. Okay. Now Demolition Feast. I will prefer Demolition Feast uh, because I prefer I, I love I love his damage and love his uh, punch. And there are some posts in the forum that saying that especially I love Vatan here again once again thanks to I love Vatan a lot and uh, Huwei they all they actually tested it that the punishing swing damage is actually is actually quite high. If you can see level one is actually five hundred percent. I do remember that they actually recommend for level 11 which is the damage is nearly 1148% which is quite high but uh, like nearly one time or actually twice of higher the damage so and actually it has a cooldown of you can see here CD is 10 seconds and not bad if you look into a uh, demolition feast if you put level 11 here demo feast is also not that bad the cooldown is 14 seconds but the attack is slightly lower now for me, I won't go for punishing, punishing swing. So uh, I will just go for level one punishing swing here, and demolition fees I will set it as level six. Okay, consistently level six. Just do remember that level six, eleven, sixteen, and twenty-one is the ma uh, damage difference between one and another level. Though I will suggest you all do not put at level five, level like in, in the intermediate level like level five, level four, level. 13, level 9, all these are not the maximum damage you can output. You cannot give the maximum output damage, guys. Alright. So level 6, remember level 6, level 11, level 16, level 21 are the key. Okay, so let's go ahead on to that. Now, our major damage is definitely circle swing. So I always cap circle swing. Now why is it on blue? Because I have a skill heredity there, so that's why it's actually level 16 here. Okay, so we apply to this. Whirlwind as well, I, I always max it, that is our key damage as well. Rolling attack and ring bomb. Now, between rolling attack and ring bomb, it pretty much depends on how you want to play. For me, I love, actually I love both. But the damage, I the, the, the one I want to control to have more fun is actually rolling attack. So what I do is actually I put level 11 first, okay. And for ring bomb, I also put level 11. Okay, usually that's what I do. Now, do remember as you can see here now, this is uh, my P pure PvE Barbarian build. As you can see in Mercenaries here, I actually actually have already spent about 141, 140 plus 3. Basically, this I think this is the skill heredities on that side. So I don't know whether we get affected, I totally forgot about that. But let's put it on just to be safe. And we learn about this. Now, let's get on to Barbarian first before we actually spend more on Mercenaries or Warrior. Alright, so that is actually how I control and plan for my whole thing. Or even you can go to Google there to actually Google the skill simulator for your own classes for Barbarian. To so test it out first before even you should actually build inside here. Now, Offend Hit is actually level 1. Alright, that's the first thing. And for the record guys, I don't know how many Barbarians actually noti noticed the new, uh, after the latest patch on Tuesday, the, impl the, the implementation of the new costumes, the new SHD2, everything. There is a changes updating on the description here. As you can see, we actually finally conclude. You remember that on the second guide there, I said that we don't know whether the Barbarian Enhanced Circle Swing is 1000%, 700%, correct? But in the, during the second video, someone told me that it's actually 500%. I thank, I thank you for that person and actually a few person. Actually, I'm very, I'm very thankful for that. And you can see here, our Circle Swing and Enhanced Circle Swing is all along 500%. <laughs> Wait, I mean, I mean, I also got a shot on that. I seriously got a shot on that. But uh, nevertheless, I can prove to you that the video in FD, the FD that one, is actually not, is is not pre-patch. It's actually after the patch. It's after the patch I test it. That's when actually I see that oh, okay, we actually there's not much difference because all along our enhanced circle swing damage is not one thousand percent at all, as far as I remember. All right. Okay, so from now on, everyone do check yourself on the description there. I think not only our class, I think some classes are actually updated on skill description. I didn't know of other classes. I know that the adapts one, the adapt, okay, because I quite I know Lacey up quite well. She's my sister, and she told me that her adapt skills has a uh, description has some problem. So yeah, I think it's on the one of the instance. So just do remember our enhanced circle swing ex damage is 500%. All right, it's 500%. All right, just do remember that. And don't worry, there is still quite a good damage. 
Let's move on. Won't crash. I always max it. Okay. Level 11 here. Okay. Basically, all the barbarian skills, what you can learn here is actually max it up. Okay. So when you max it up, you have less 7 skill points. Now, it it is very much depending on how you want to build it. Okay, guys. Everyone will build it. Now, for me, since uh, you have to be very careful now. You can actually max your ring bomb or your rolling attack to level 13. As you can see here, the damage is not bad. But um, that depends on you. But for me, since I got 7 SP and mercenary skill 3 here, as you can see, it's actually 141 plus 3. So let's test on the demolition feast. Alright, congrats, another person. Life really got an ROD. I haven't actually got my ROD. I'm really stuck on, the, uh, uh, on that. So I finally got level 11 or demolition feast here which is level 11. I pretty much love it, so I put it level 11. And... I will already reach the cap of mercenary, mercenary tree here. So 104, 146 here, and I apply it... There. So this is my mercenary build. Now I left 2 SP here. Basically that's how I build it, and I put it on the relief because I don't want to spend on other stuff. So there we have it. I actually spent all my SP in the right order accordingly and carefully when I actually built my barbarians here. And it, I mean, actually, I know my builds really, but this is how I build it, guys. This is how I build it. So, and it, just recap here. These are the warrior tree, as you can see here. I will actually slow down a bit. So, rising slash EX, uh, circle break EX, max a relief for for high for cooldown CDs. Not for to remove the buff, but for faster cooldown, especially because of the burn in the RDN. And then uh, for the house side, which is quite clear, alright, quite clear. And then all the damage here, level 11, quite static, quite standard, not static, quite standard, except for the whirlwind, which is, you know, boost your whirlwind damage and the two ulties. I know that some people only want to play one ulti and one level and another ulti can spend another, another, another skills, but that's okay, it's up to you. And the barbarian skill here are all max. Though, so this is actually a pure PvE build of the barbarian here. Now, uh, moving on into additional, additional screen, uh, skills here, which is for PvE again. It's my own personal build, guys. Alright, own personal build. So let's get started. Basically, everything is about the same. Alright, everything is about the same. I don't usually uh, change much. Okay, let me just uh, do, do actually a quick one. Level 6. I hope I, hope I remember for PvE because uh, PvE has just some slight difference. Okay. Some slight different. Okay, relief. Okay, now relief have to be very very careful. Now always put level two first because PVE build are very very much different. Now let's go on to this one. When it comes to PVE, okay, crisis how is that what we need? Flying swing. All these are basics. Dash blow. Taunting how? Toughness. Iron skin. Soccer bomb. This one. Highlander. All right, Highlander. We also need that. So. Actually, the question now is whether in PvP you still want to do a Havok How or not. Havok How also do a lot of damage actually in PvP, so it's up to you, but I will put it as level 1. Okay, I put it as level 1 because uh, if I don't have any skills and the person do not have any, have any AEs or any, any stuff like that, actually, it actually lie down on the floor, I will use the Havok How or even Devilizing How to actually silence him or actually do some damage. Alright, okay, so that's the thing. So I apply it. Now punishing swing everything we put level one first uh, once again, okay. And then I don't think that much mercenaries. I mean I saw before mercenaries play jacketing ball in PvP, but I would not do that because uh, a lot of mercenaries using this uh, so-called irritating skill cyclone X, the so-called the so-called the washing machine guys, the washing machine. Okay, so I put it max. Now let's get on to the real thing here. Maximize your circle swing, your whirlwind. This is other thing that you need to do. Quite standard, right? Correct. Quite standard. Now I do not want to specify on all these skills first. Let's come back later on. Let's actually maximize our barbarian build first. So it's quite straightforward. I will skip it. I will skip it, guys. I will skip very fast because it's actually straight straightforward. It's nearly the same. Now we left thirty-five SP here. Okay, thirty-five SP here. To put it into store into mercenary tree. Now 146 minus uh, 115 is actually you have only 31 skill points left. Do remember you have 31 skills points left to put into mercenary tree. 
excuse me. <laughs> so you have to be very, very careful. Now in PvP, what is the most irritating skills that prepare actually for mercenaries? Storm. As you can see here, Storm. Previously, the Storm on T4, as you go level the Storm from one level to another level, the 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 slow the movement speed re reduction is, is reduced quite significantly. I, mean, I do remember it starting from 20% something and then you move to level 11. The movement speed is actually decreased about nearly 40 or 50. I can't really remember. So um, I think that's not important. Not without is T5. So it's for T5. T5 is basically much the same. As you can see, if you look to move into level 11 or even level 12, there's nothing much difference though. So the, 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 the thing is why Storm is so important is that to slow down the movement speed of your opponent. So for me, I will put it as level 1. Okay, I will put it as level 1. Demolition Feast. In terms of PvP in Demolition Feast, sometimes it's very very hard to, um, to actually aim it. But I will still love to use the demolition phase, so I will go for level 6 first, okay? You can go for level 6 or level 1, that is a very harsh, uh, depending on you. The next one will be flying swing, will be level 1, I don't really care about flying swing that much, unless I'm a destroyer, okay? Then punishing swing. Now punishing swing in PvP, I do know that it's only 121, I can actually just do a scrolling here, this is a PvP damage. 121 here, so if you move into level 11 here, let's see what's the damage, I do not know. The damage is 100. 100! 406 now in pvp that means it's quite high okay it's quite high and uh, it's up to you whether you go 11 or 1 uh, probably i'm going to put one first i never tried before i will try that later on and uh ring bomb pretty much the same i will put it on uh, level 11 okay level 11 and a uh, rolling attack okay now rolling attack is pretty much hard to aim i will put level 11 as well so now we only have left 6 skill points guys, do remember we have left 6 skill points, it's so important. It is so important that you have to plan it very carefully. Alright. Now, um, devilizing how that's the thing that you need to watch, you need to watch out. Okay. In PvP, you remove one buff. Okay. If you go and, and the most important thing is unable to use skill for 2.1 seconds. That's the main thing. If you go level 4, if you go level 4, the cooldown is 27 seconds and you remove 4 buff plus the unable to use skill is 4.2 seconds so it's very much very 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 fun to use so i will gladly to use this one so i'll put level 4 guys all right the reason why i don't talk about that later because i want to give you a general idea first a general idea that actually why how how do i build it so i will go for level 4 for devilizing how here so 4.2 seconds is very much high compared to 2.1 seconds at level 1 so do remember to take this and immobilizing and unable to use skills in pvp it's actually much irritating for any of the classes even if you fight against Mercenary versus mercenaries, that is actually what is going to happen. 4 seconds, you can't use skill, literally that will be the end of you, as people will combo you very hard. Okay, now we left 3 skill points. These 3 skill points are, I seriously, I don't know. So normally I'm going to put like this first, and then uh, what I do is actually I'm going to max on rolling attack, because rolling attack has high damage. But uh, for ring bomb, if I put 2 points, you can see here, level 14. So level 14 is like a bit messy, so I don't do that, okay? I don't really really do that. So let's move on to Warrior here. In PvP, in PvP, what is most important is actually the cooldown as well, okay? But the before, that is before T4 guys, do remember that before. But in T5 as you can see here, in regardless of the what level you are, your level, your, your CD is still 45 seconds, okay? It's still 45 seconds. So um, Putting at level 1, that's it, but uh, if you put it at level, uh, max level here, level 6, you can see PvP here, oh, hold on. It removes 3 buffs, okay, 3 buffs. I do not know whether this will be work for, 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 for people, but usually I'll put level 2, okay, level 2 is what I want, oh sorry, not 2, 2, 2 debuffs here, okay, that is what I actually want, alright, that's what I actually want. So, yeah, so 2 debuffs, nothing much, that, that's it. That's it, that, that, that's, that's the thing. So I actually have, have 6 more SP guys. <laughs> 6 more SP. So um, so basically, sometimes I do leave my SP just like that, even if I have 6 extra XP, because it doesn't concern me that much. It doesn't concern me that, that much. And uh, increase your maximum H M MP, eh, not really that important. Dash kick is not that important as well. So basically, this is my 
PvP build. So if you have any good suggestions on PvP build, and I and uh, I hope you get to see you guys actually in my YouTube channel to do the discussion, guys. It's very very fun to do the discussion on skill build. I'm not so good in PvP, seriously. I'm a group PvP player, but not a one v one p one v one player. I'm really not that good. All right, I'm a team worker, as always. So yeah, so this is a build. So whether the last six XP you want to put in your, you want to max up, you want to max it here, or actually you want to move at level thirty, or you want to max your rolling attack, that's up to you. So probably I will go and max the rolling attack anyway. <laughs> so all right, so that's it. Or even you actually, uh, you can have four XP here. You can actually go and uh, put some skills on the warrior here. You can do much more damage if you can. But I think that's it. Oh hold on, yeah, that's it. So four more skill points here. You can actually do that, or even you can just now. You can actually, actually, I should actually, I should just now do it on rising slash. Okay, but if you do not put at the rolling attack level thirteen here, you can actually can max your slide rising slash to level eleven, or even a circle circle break. So it's really 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 up to you. Yeah, so really up to you guys. See, that's it for PVP build. All right, for PVP build. Now for hybrid build. Okay, hybrid build. Now hybrid build, it's pretty much uh, a bit different. It's a mixture of PvP and PVE. Now you want to fully use the utilize PVE, okay? I can get, I can tell you that actually how it's gonna works. In terms of warrior skill tree, you can follow exactly like this. All right, no question asked. Exactly like this. On the most, on the bar, I, I will go through warrior and barbarian here because it's quite short. Barbarian again, max it all. There's no question to ask. Now for mercenary skills, which is more important here, I will use the uh, PVP because it's a much better example. Okay, better example for this. Now what you can do is actually, basically in PVE and PVP, what you can do is actually you take out these two SP here, these two SP, and then two SP here, and also even this uh devilizing how, all right. Probably you can put the devil axe out to level two or level four. It's up to you. You take these two SP here, and then you can put it under the gigantic bomb. You have all you have to do is actually you can take the uh, you have to, you have to take out some S. You have to take out some some of the um, some of the skill points to actually pump into gigantic bomb for PVE because sometimes in PVE cyclones X do much more damage and sometimes it's gigantic bomb based on condition to use your LT. That is the first thing. But I know that to learn the ulti here, you need to be, you need to have three SP first. Now, by taking two SP down out from rolling attack here, you need, you need to think about taking out another skill points from somewhere else. Yeah, from somewhere else. You can probably take it from somewhere. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You can probably take it from somewhere. Hmm, I do not know. Let's see here, guys. Oh wait! Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, we have, we have four, four more. Yeah, SP. We have four more. So you take out two. You have six. All right. Remember that. Take out six. Two. Take out two from rolling attack. You have six. So six here. You put pump into gigantic bomb. Okay, pump into gigantic bomb. Of course, some of the skills here you may need to reset a bit because uh, it got you will get infected. Okay. So you can actually can learn this. All right. You learn this. Three SP here. You use two. So two is actually one for the one for the four. Wait. One, two, one forty-three. You learn one. It's actually, actually jacketing bomb. You actually learn level one of jacketing bomb here. Now, if you want to go into the to learn the learn into level two jacketing bomb, you can actually reduce your whirlwind. There's no question. I mean, there's no problem at all if you leave it leave it to level eleven. It's still the maximum damage of that level cap. But because we have extra SP on pure PVE and pure PVP, so a level eleven is also not that bad as well. So taking out two SP here, you have another extra SP here. You can pump a one more SP onto targeting point. You make it level two. Then the remaining uh points you actually can pump into whirlwind or something else. You can take it one devilizing how to make it level three into pump into whirlwind. That's up to you whether how you want to do it. So pure, uh, so not pure. So hybrid build is pretty much straightforward. Okay, it's pretty much straightforward. So you can take my reference here on the PVP side. Okay, to build your hybrid build. Now when it comes to hybrid build, it's actually mean to both uh, PVE plus PVP build together. Okay, just do remember that. So um, I think that is for today. 
uh, on this very much video here on skill builds I, I know that I owe all these people a lot on the comment section in my YouTube channel that I'm so sorry um, I don't want to produce the video much uh, fast that fast because I want to give I want to make my YouTube channel lively you know to go every day every week there's at least like one or two videos okay so I hope you guys actually can understand my skill builds here pretty much this is uh, my skill builds and if you have a better one do share it out in the forums or even my YouTube channel there you you might have a better build you might have a better build than me you might want to play another style all right so it's really up to you on that but as always thanks for watching on this video I hope you guys actually enjoy this uh, this series not this series this episode <laughs> this episode on barbarian skill build PvE PvP and hybrid build and I hope you guys can actually enjoy it and to share it out to your friends so once again i hope you guys will see you next on the next episode of barbarian videos here and tonight today is saturday here tonight we have a fun run cleric plus lolly cleric plus lolly four clerics for individual classes in Saint, guardian and crusader all right plus another four four lollies ss gm adapt and uh, uh physician here so four so the total of eight of them will be doing rd and abs tonight Okay, on the second of April here, how you guys are here and join me on the live stream. All right, of course, once if you cannot enjoy, we actually I will try to edit the video and post it on my YouTube channel later on. And actually, there's a this actually there's a challenge inside there, guys. Actually, actually there's a cha special challenge inside there, and the rewards is prepared by Lacia and also Kills here. As always, do join us on the live stream and enjoy the run. So, again, once again, thank you for thanks for supporting my channel here. 434 subscribers you guys are amazing you guys are killing it and i hope the channel will be going up soon and more dn videos will be coming up so once again i will see you guys on the next video stay tuned and cheers from kills Annyeong.